everyone, I'm going to show you how to create tasks and task lists in your Clio software. So Clio is a case management for lawyers. So how do you create tasks and task lists in Clio? So for example, let's say you get a deposition document or any kind of document, or you need to run some sort of procedure, like something happens, some trigger event, you get a call from a client, you need to do these multiple things. So what you want to do is use tasks for that. It helps keep everything organized in individual case matters. Um, so for example, my law firm, we get a deposition notice. We need to prepare the client for the deposition. We need to uh, request an interpreter, maybe if they're not an English speaker. We need to add a um, add a calendar entry. We need to get medical records, do all these certain things based on one trigger activity, which is receiving a certain document like a deposition notice. So I'm gonna show you how to create tasks in Clio. So what you'll do is if you come to your case matters, right? And you say, let's say you pick a case matter. Um, I'll just, I'm just picking these randomly. So these are all made up names. So I'll come and I'll come over to tasks and I'll come and click new task. And what I'll do is let's say we need to prepare a client for a deposition. So I'll add that there, I'll add that to the description. I can change the priority levels. I can change who I assign it to, um, and I can change the due date. Let's say within a week, we need to do that. And I'll save the task. So now the task is there um, in this case matter for anybody to come and see it. And the users, they can actually come and click here on task, and they can see all their pending tasks from all their case matters in one specific area. So next thing I'll do, let's say we need to do a second thing. So we need to request medical records, right? Again, normal priority. I'm just going to copy that in the description, assign it to Dustin, which is me. And let's say that's due in a week as well. I'll come and save the task. And I can do this so on and so forth. Um, do we need interpreter? If so, request. Right? Normal, same thing. Let's say that's due within a week and I save the task. So I do all these things. I'm doing it manually, you see? So what you could do in Clio is create a, what's called a task list. So you can actually take these three tasks or more, if you have more, and put it in one task list. So what you'll do is you'll activate that task list and all these separate tasks will show up here. So for example, if I come to task and I'll go task lists, here I can create a new task list. So for example, let's call it deposition notice. Again, this can be for anything that's custom to your law firm, anything you want. You can have hundreds of these if you want. You get hundreds of different documents. The deposition notice when we get a deposition notice, right? And I'll click save and add tasks. Now I add those individual tasks. I can add them to the task list. So I come task template. I'll say prepare client for deposition. You can have whatever priority I want. I can add this. Um, what I can do is select the assignee. So I can say I want to assign this to Dustin or whoever needs to do the preparation. And then I can also have a due date. And let's say I want it to happen seven days from the from the what we call the trigger date. That's the date the task is activated. The date I save the task in the matter is called the trigger date. So this will happen seven days after that. So I'll save the task, task and it shows up here. Now I can add a second task template. So request medical records. Let's say I want to sign this to Dustin. And let's say I also want to have that in 10 business days. Why not? From the trigger date. And I click Save Task Template. And I can keep going, keep going, keep going, add more of these. Prepare client for, or sorry, uh, request interpreter. So we need to check if there's an interpreter. Again, Dustin. And let's say I need that in 14 days, as an example. And I can keep going here, guys. I can keep adding more and more and more. I could add tens, twenties, lot, dozens of them if I want. So now what I do, now that I have this task template saved, what I'll do is whenever I get this deposition notice now, so let's say I get the deposition notice for, uh, let's call it Mike O'Neill. And they made all these names up. Um, what I'll do is I'll come, instead of going to tasks, I'll come and click edit matter. I'll go to task lists. I will add a task list. So you can see it here. It's already been added. I'll click deposition notice, and then I'll come and click save matter. Now that I've saved the matter, if I go look at my tasks, you'll see all those tasks are created in the task list are automatically there. So it was less clicks that I had to do. Um, and I can do that within Clio. Now what's really cool is if you integrate it with Legal Ninja, what it will do is you can actually automate a bunch of these things. So 
generally when we get a deposition, we have to upload a file to Clio. We need to rename it. We need to add a calendar entry, change the custom fields, generate a document template, and do a task list. So what Legal Ninja does specifically for the task list, it'll actually read whatever task lists you have here. So it reads these names. And you can come here and click on the, the names. Um, so th this is plugged into a different um, law firm. So at the task lists are different, but maybe depot notice comes in, right? So what you come, can do here is you come and click create. And whenever you get a deposition notice, but well, the name already exists, that's okay. Um, deposition notice one. So whatever happens is when you get a deposition notice, you want to do all of these different things you can just upload it to Legal Ninja, say run deposition notice template, submit, and it'll do all these things, including activating the task list for that matter, adding any notes, generating any documents, changing custom fields, adding calendar entry, renaming and uploading files, all these things with one click. So it really, really helps save your uh, legal staff a lot of time, uh, a lot of, they don't have to do the mundane boring stuff and it can helps them focus on higher value work rather than inputting data and doing going through that tedious task. Okay. So we want to check that out. It plugs right into Clio. Go to legalninja.ai and you can check that out as well. All right. Thanks so much. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and talk to you soon.